Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jake's Gaming Corner. And uh, I just want to make this episode real quick because uh, I just started playing uh, Control, as you can see right there. I am uh, currently playing the game. It's on pause. <clears throat> um, but I wanted to stop and make this video because I had not heard very much about Control at all. Um, like, really, very much at all, anywhere. So... I saw that it was um, on new on PlayStation now, so I went ahead and downloaded it and jumped into it today after I got off of work, and I am absolutely in love with the game. It is amazing. Um, there are some flaws, yes, but I'm probably three, four hours in right now, and I love every bit of it. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, I don't want to spoil it for you, so I'm not going to jump into what the game is about right now, really. Um, other than it's about a girl named Jesse, um, you go to the Federal Bureau of Control, which I'm guessing is the FBI equivalent in the game, uh, and you're essentially trying to find your brother Dylan. So when you first show up at the uh, Federal Bureau of Control, which is where the game starts out at, um, some weird things start happening, and uh, I'm just going to leave it there. So, uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely uh, get on to PlayStation Now and check it out if you have a PlayStation Now subscription. Um, if not, I would look into a PlayStation Now subscription if you do have a PlayStation 4. Because, Hey guys, Jake from Not Too Far in the Future. Um, I'm going back and getting ready to edit the video, watching it over real fast, and I noticed that I said if you have a PlayStation, now, a PlayStation 4, then you can download a PlayStation Now subscription. But that was kind of false because even if you do not have a PlayStation 4, if you have just a PC, you can download PlayStation Now on your PC and have access to all the games as long as you have a PlayStation 4 controller and a way to wire it into your um, computer with just, you know, the charging cable. Which, if you have a PlayStation 4 controller, then you should have a charging cable. Um, I know if you don't have a PlayStation 4, you probably won't have a controller. But if you are a PC gamer, you will have a controller that you can use for uh, PlayStation Now. So if you didn't know that, you can download PlayStation Now on your PCs. Um, Apple, uh, not Apple, yeah, Apple and Mac. Uh, ugh, like I just said in the last video, I cannot talk. Apple and PC, you can, uh, or Windows, you can download the PlayStation Now app. And they usually have a uh, free one-week trial if you haven't had it yet. So if you are interested in it, definitely use that trial and check it out. And if you like it, then keep on subscribing to it. And I, like I said in the last one, I think it's only $9.99 a month. To me, that's a pretty, ga pretty dang good deal for the amount of content that they put on there. So I'll let you guys get back to the regular videos. Uh, it's $9.99 a month. They put a lot of great games on there. So I would definitely check it out. I love PlayStation Now. Any PlayStation 4 games that come onto PlayStation Now, you are, you can download. So uh, you'll have it for, I'm not sure if you have it forever or not. I haven't deleted, or I haven't ended my PlayStation Now subscription since I started it. So if it works anything like Xbox Game Pass, I'm pretty sure you'll still be able to play those games after, or even if you do not continue your service with PlayStation Now. As long as it was a PlayStation 4 game and you downloaded it to your system. Don't hold me that, because I could be completely wrong. I'm not sure. I haven't done it, experienced any of that firsthand yet. But uh, definitely get on to PlayStation now if you do have that and check it out. Control is a great game. Um, I have not completed it yet, so I will be doing a review most likely when I do complete it. So be looking forward to that. Um, another game they uploaded onto PlayStation now today is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, that awesome game. I love the new Tomb Raider uh, trilogy that came out in the last few years. It is an amazing game as well. <clears throat> um, if you are into the Uncharted series, um, or if you've played the other Tomb Raiders and have not played Shadow of the Tomb Raider yet, uh, and you do have PlayStation Now, definitely get on there and check that out as well, because Shadow of the Tomb Raider, great game as well. And I don't want to spoil anything for that game as well either, so play it and... Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you have played Control, if you are looking forward to it. Um, if you have heard, if it was something that you hadn't heard about very much either, let me know down in the comments. Uh, 
If you guys like this video, please give it a like because it's really going to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and uh, help, get more viewer, help get more viewers to the channel and help us keep growing. Um, but another thing I wanted to talk about real fast because I just saw it and I literally stopped playing control for an hour and 40 minutes just so I could watch it and that is Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution on Netflix. I, it's a Netflix film that Netflix I'm assuming paid to have made or created or reproduced whatever Netflix does. It's branded by Netflix but it is a remaster I guess remake of the first Pokemon movie Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back they put all new animation with it I think all new voice acting I mean it's all sounds spot on um, from what I can remember I haven't watched the original Pokemon movie in a while uh, it is pretty dang scene for scene remade of the original only brought into today's day and age with what they can do with animation today it's it's amazing so definitely get onto Netflix and check that out if you uh, have Netflix access. Most people do these days, even if you don't have your own Netflix. I'm sure you know somebody that will give you the password. I mean, that's what I do. So uh, definitely get on Netflix and check that out. Uh, Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. Amazing movie. I mean, if you've seen the first Pokemon movie, if you've seen the original, then you know it's, an, it's a great movie. So just imagine that with the graphics from today or the animation style that they can do today it's it's amazing so um i just wanted to talk about those few little things real quick and uh let you guys know what i've been doing um the last few weeks week or so since i posted the last video um i haven't been streaming that much because i've been pretty busy here lately um i haven't really had enough a lot of time to sit down and play games the last week or two so tonight when I got home and had Control downloaded, I jumped right into that, and I should have started streaming that, but I didn't want to make a fool of myself jumping into a new game yet. So um, I will probably start streaming Control here soon, uh, if that's something you guys want to see. If not, definitely let me know down in the comments that as well, because whatever you guys want is what I want to give you. So, um, so the games that I had been playing, though, when I do have time to sit down and play, if you are uh, subscribe, following me on Instagram, you've seen my recent Instagram post, and uh, I've had like seven or eight games that I just throw in and play for an hour, 30 minutes here and there when I do have time to play the last week or two. And uh, the four games that I have been playing the most, though, is uh, The Last of Us, because I'm definitely trying to get ready for The Last of Us Part Two. I have been playing Metal Gear Solid 4 because I played and beat Metal Gear Solid 5 for like the fifth time. So I wanted to go back and play and beat this again for like the third or fourth time. Did both of that, or beat both of those. And the one I've been playing the most, other than, I mean, I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time on Control until Doom Eternal comes out because I've been spending a lot of time replaying Doom, probably three quarters of the way back through the game. Uh, Love Doom. Can't wait for Doom Eternal. Uh, get ready for a lot of Doom Eternal content on this channel here soon because we will be doing plenty of Doom Eternal videos very, very soon. So um, one other thing I wanted to mention that I'll be doing here shortly is the back shell replacement for the my Nintendo Switch. I will be doing a transparent shell for the back of that. So be on the lookout for that as well. And... Hmm... I thought there was one other thing I wanted to mention, but now that I'm on here on the spot, I cannot think of it. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go for there. Go right there. And uh, thanks for stopping by Jake's Gaming Corner. If you like the video, please leave it a like. I really appreciate it if you do. It'll definitely help me out, like I said before, trying to get up in the YouTube alg algorithms. Oh, I cannot talk tonight. And uh, hopefully get more people to come and check out the channel. So, like I said once again, thanks for visiting Jake's Gaming Corner, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.